Today's the Halloween special, I think, and the creepiest thing we could come up with was the, uh, or I guess the, the creepy Casey Neistat wave. We're gonna try to make a robot that does it. You know, it kind of looks like he's squeezing a, a water balloon or something. Um, I don't have a plan though, so let's let's make one. The plan is to have um, the, a hand, and it's going to be on a stick, which is on a hinge, which is then attached to another stick, which then attaches to a camera, and then there's a handle, and then there's a button. And so then your real hand is like like that. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> is that a good plan? <laughs> Let's tear these hands apart and pull the stuffing out. And now to present the CAD model, Mr. Bones, who ate too much stuffing from the hand. We're gonna make a hand out of this thin plastic. And the idea is to use the thin plastic as a hinge and then glue some bigger blocks that have kind of cutouts and then put a string through them. So let's cut that on the laser, which means that it is laser time! All right, execute. Okay, great. Now we want uh, this. Should we just cut that open to make our lives easier right now? This is gonna be actually more difficult to to like install it than I originally thought. Oh my god! The laser drilling actually worked really well. Do I? You know what, I don't want to wear these. The only problem is that I think it may have worked too well, so let's drill them out. Oh man. I don't want to turn the laser back on. Next day, I got a haircut. Uh, let's see, you got any more non-relevant information for you? We've got the little wood pieces glued. We've got some fishing line run through them, so when you pull the fishing line it curves the fingers. We have our creepy hand that I've cut the the knuckle pits out of. Now we're going to do something that we're probably going to end up regretting, and that is to super glue this main structure to the inside of the hand. Hey, that's not bad. This thing would work great if there was no skin. Yes, what a beautiful face you have. Bad kitty. Bad cameraman. <laughs> um, okay, we got some, some CAD and we test cut. We kind of lined it up to see like where the hand needed to be in front of the camera. 16 inches it seemed like. And that would put us, it would put the hand about here. That looks pretty good. Camera and Johnson looks good. I don't know how much I trust him though. This is just a test cut out of cardboard with the trigger and uh, just, I don't know, to get an idea of what it'll feel like. The hand will, will fold down and then when you pull the trigger it'll fold up like that. Okay, everything cut pretty well except for this one. This goes like this. This goes like this. That goes like that. And then these are supposed to go like that, but. Yeah. How confident am I that this is gonna work? Not very. That's why we're gonna start gluing it right now. Trigger's gonna go there. Oh wait. 
go like that. Take a piece of dollar store hacksaw. No, we want a piece of dowel that we were gonna cut with the dollar store hacksaw. We don't want a piece of dollar store hacksaw. Do we wanna... So we gotta... I don't know how, but we've somehow managed to drag this project out into like four days. <laughs> good job. We're really good procrastinators. Right now we're gonna oh cut God. the servo mount out of the pan. Whoa, that smells bad. Where's the servo? <laughs> I didn't plan this out very well. The servo should have been way farther down. The thumb cable comes out right here, and then this is like the reciprocating. Why is this so hard? <laughs> what does it look like on the backside? Bad on the in like the big picture is is the big picture is bad. Creepy wave on. <laughs> How's it look? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty bad. It definitely gets stuck up, and I wonder how long before that servo totally burns out from being overwelded. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go take this to the streets, and. Um, we have a dilemma. I'm really hungry, but I don't know what to eat. Let's go pick something. First, let's get some drone shots. You might be asking, how did I hold the camera and fly the drone and catch it? We expect a full-blown review of McDonald's Shez... 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 I wish there was a middle finger option. It's probably better anyways. Is that? Oh, man. Mm. Oh. Got mail. Mail time. Bills, 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 bills. All right, now the good stuff. Uh, cat ears. Cat toy. You know, I'm gonna be real. I've actually pretty much opened all this stuff already, but we're gonna do it on camera. We've never done mail time before. This one's from Rebecca. She sent a cat t-shirt. Thanks, Rebecca. Stickers! Next! This one is from Katie Valentine. Yeah, she's, this one was sent like two months ago. Ooh, it's, this is a bad day to be wearing multiple t-shirts. What? I'm pretty sure she said not to use her name. Yeah, whatever. I think I might know what it is. Oh no, this is something different. Cut the sleeves if you want. And there's no name. Who sent this? The, the package was open, and there's no return address. And that concludes the first episode of Mail Time. That was fun. Okay, I think this might be the first in a series of 
they didn't ask for it, but we made it and send it, sent it to them anyways. If you've got an idea for a YouTube channel that we could make a piece of crap for and send it to them, leave it in the comments. Now, let's go mail this off to Mr. Neistat. I hope he opens it. We even wrote instructions on there and put more real batteries on it. Where's my box? Oh, no. Anything else we could put in there that I don't want? There you go. <laughs> Surprise.